Today's video is another one for the girls. Sorry to my male followers. Please don't unsubscribe. Cool dude videos come in the future, man. So this is something that I researched myself because I wanted to know if there were other girls that had done the HSG procedure and actually got pregnant on their own naturally after it because you hear stories um, or articles saying that it does happen sometimes. This is my experience. I was actually so scared to get the HSG procedure done. So the first month I actually put it off and I waited to do it a, a month later. My HSG results unfortunately were not normal. Um, I did not get pregnant the month after the HSG. So I was like super bummed. I was like so worried about the pain of the HSG itself. I didn't even think that my results wouldn't be normal. And I guess I'm just weird. I'm not normal. So I can't have normal results, I guess. I don't know, but something like, maybe like my left fallopian tube. I guess how the doctor who did it described it being like dilated. So maybe there was something off with that. We were gonna try to like fix it or something. And if they couldn't, maybe take it out, which really freaked me out. Cause I was like, even if it's not working properly, can we just leave it? The second thing was that they saw that I had a uterine polyp. This is maybe TMI for people, but I'm just keeping it real if you care. The type of surgery that they have listed is operative hysteroscopy, DNC, operative laparoscopy, enterolysis, fulguration and excision of endometriosis, bilateral tuboplasty, possible left cell pingectomy. So that's a lot of shit. And that sucks. <laughs> I don't know, I guess, if my insides are messed up. Um, so basically, I didn't have normal HSG results. I guess on the other hand, I was like, well, if there's stuff that's wrong, I guess, we want to fix it. So if this is what we need to do to move forward, to for me to be healthy and well, um, and to hopefully get pregnant, then we got to do it. My doctor was, wanted me to try naturally after the surgery. Oh, they're doing the lawn. Blows my mind reading that list because that's the first time that I've read it in many months. I tried to get my surgery date to be in January. Like once they told me, I was like, okay, as soon as you can, you can you do it in, you know, a few weeks, let's go, let's do it. But he didn't have room for me in his schedule. I had to schedule it for the next month. I said to my husband, like, do you want to try this month? Do you want to bother? Because it's not going to happen. Like we know the issue now, which I guess, and I guess that's what I'm saying was maybe like a relief that like, we know what the problem is and hopefully potentially can get fixed. And he's like, of course, you always want to try. You don't, you don't ever lose faith or hope. So we did. But it wasn't in my brain that I would possibly be pregnant. So I didn't think much of it. My surgery date got closer. Um, I got a little more anxious. My cycle has to be within a certain amount of days for the, with the procedure. It has to coordinate, which I'm a little irregular. So even my mom looked at me at some one point, I remember, and was like, well, you look bloated a little, but I was like, I'm always a little bloated. So I didn't think much of it. Those next couple weeks, I slept a little longer. Like I slept in when I usually don't sleep in. But then there were also days that I know I went like spinning and did Zumba and did Pilates. I can't say for sure that I felt like those two week wait symptoms, but also my head was like not thinking that I could be. It was Sunday. In January 2020 and the following day the Monday I was going into quest to get my pre-op surgery blood work that Sunday morning I rolled out of bed I actually felt like oh I feel like I got my period but I didn't so I was like for whatever reason I guess I was like you know what let me waste a little Amazon pregnancy test when I took it I was like not even paying attention because like I said didn't think much of it it showed a faint line. Can you see a second line? Like really quickly. And I was like shocked. I didn't know if it was accurate because like it was an Amazon one that was inexpensive. I went out to the store and got a few more and there was a line. And I I was in shock, I think, for the first 
Well, let's say seven months because now I am happily seven months pregnant. Oh, baby. Yeah, this is what a seventh month pregnancy belly button looks like. I know it looks a little funky. So I am very happily pregnant. I'm not saying there weren't scares along the way. I'm gonna do another more detailed video probably that like, I don't know, if somebody cares they can watch it otherwise it'll just be for my memories. So I don't like forget this whole experience. It was, I guess, the right timing for this baby for my husband and I. And it's like, I feel like it's truly a miracle. So my doctor did say it is possible for, they call it a spontaneous pregnancy to happen after the HSG because it kind of flushes you out. I just didn't know if that applied to me because it wasn't like I had gunk in there that needed to be cleaned up. Like there was things that they wanted to do surgery on. Um, so I feel like it's truly a miracle and um, we're very blessed and thankful. And um, it was actually the left fallopian tube that they were potentially going to take out. That was the side that the baby, the egg came from and is growing um, from. So it's a really wild story. So that Monday when I was supposed to go in for my pre-op surgery blood work at 11 a.m., I ended up getting my blood drawn to check my HCG levels at my doctor's office to see um, if I was pregnant and to confirm and check all that at 11 a.m. So I truly feel like it's it was meant to be. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we were trying to get pregnant for like around two years. Um, so it's so exciting. And I'm not saying it hasn't been scary, especially being pregnant in 2020. Uh, it's been an experience. But she wants a strong mama. So she make me extra tough, which I appreciate because I kind of need that little push. It's been uh, crazy and I just feel like it's like one of those stories that it happens to like, you hear, oh, it happened when you were least expecting it or something. And you know, I feel like that happens to other people, but not to me, like just keeping it real. And it's just pretty wild that I feel like that kind of happened to me. If you need someone else to tell you, like I need my husband to tell me, I will tell it to you. Don't give up, don't lose the faith. And also like, it's really easy to make yourself crazy or put like the pressure on yourself. Like I did the HSG, it's gonna happen because that's what I did to myself the first month. And I hope this serves as like an inspiration and hope for you that like, not only after the HSG could you possibly get pregnant on your own, but if you have a normal HSG report, then really maybe it could happen. Um, and if you don't, hey, at least you don't have to get the surgeries that I may have to get one day, but hopefully, God willing, they will magically disappear on their own. I don't know. Um, yeah, this feels surreal. If you made it this far of the video and you have any questions, I just wanna say what's up. I'll say what's up back. And if you're a boy that was watching this video, you were supposed to get off a long time ago. You weren't supposed to watch this. Little girls only, okay?